Hi everyone, it's Rena, and today I decided that I'm going to actually make a video for you guys. I did say it was going to be like about two weeks for me to upload normally, but I found the time. <laughs> I, I figured it out. Um, anyways, so we are going to be testing out uh, new software. So I will transfer you to the new software. I am not sure which avatar I'm going to upload. I'm going to probably upload on this current model of mine. Um, if not, I will test around um, the different models to see which one works best. Um, and uh, let's get to it. All right, if you haven't already noticed, we are going to be using the software called Wakaru, which is a Japanese software. Wakaru actually translates to understand to understand so basically if someone's going to ask you wakarimasuka meaning do you understand and you can answer wakarimasuka wow! okay. so this is wakaru it is a unity made software it is a japanese software i did not read any of these terms and conditions on this page i did read the terms and conditions on the previous one um uh, basically it looks like it's the same stuff basically saying that uh they are not guaranteeing that there's no bugs with the free software and that they do not take responsibility to uh the damage of the use of this application and um that you should not violate the terms and conditions. Uh, basically, you can use it for marketing and uh, non-commercial. I mean, commercial and non-commercial use. But do not claim that the software is your own. Basically, is what the terms and conditions say. Okay, so this software does allow you to use MMD models as well as it does support VRM models. So if you are a person that likes to use Vroid to create your models, you can totally do that. Or you can do the MMD. I did have a person ask me to make one in that. I just never got around to it. I apologize. I just, it's just a lot. So I am a first time user, so I have no idea what's really going on. Um, so we're gonna figure this out together. So you have your character here, you have your uh, facial tracking. So with your webcam, it will add that in. Start synchronizing with avatar. Okay, yeah. So then now I'm moving and she is moving. Um, eyebrows are a little, um, uh, <laughs> it was a little, a little bit much. She's, uh, okay, I guess. Yes, I am wearing gloves right now. <laughs> She's okay, I guess. She's a little twitchy. Um, I wonder it's because I am wearing glasses. I'm blind. Okay. So what if I take off my glasses? And what if I were to wear contacts? I'm gonna look up, look down, left, right. She's stuck looking left. I'm looking right. She's kind of looking still left. I feel like it doesn't make a difference if I have my glasses on or not. My glasses are wide enough that you should be able to see my eyes. So that shouldn't be the actual problem. Okay, so we are going to try to add our own model. So basically, uh, you need to go into your Steam folder since you download this off of Steam. So give me a moment. I'll figure out where I put all that crap. Okay, so an easier way of getting to the file, if you go to your library page, then you can just uh, right click on the, the app itself and then go to to properties, uh, not properties, um, manage and then click on browse location and it should take you right into the file folder and then that way you can add in your character right into that file right there so that's basically what I'm gonna do let's make a copy of it and then put it in here because we are not trying to be stupid about this okay now that we have that I'm gonna relaunch the software it gives you the terms and conditions every single time and there we go we have my model here she's there I can throw in and start up my software just waiting for it to load. Perfect. 
and there you have it there's your avatar so that's how you add your avatar so if you have an uh m what was it m m d model you'd want to put it underneath the windows category and if you have a vrm so if you're using uh Vroid studios to create your avatar you're going to put it underneath the vrm file type and then close the software and then reopen it and that will allow you to have it in there okay so now that we have uploaded our character into wakaru um we are going to set it up as if we were going to do our normal vtubing so first things first we are going to want to have a green screen in the back so you're going to turn off the skybox and have it fully green screen connected you can control your camera through these functions so whatever angle you want to work with and then if you are using um, a software like OBS uh, there's some other steps you want to take to fully set it up and then let's play around with the hand control so we are setting the mouth control to voice and then we are going to see if we can synchronize the hand you're supposed to technically be able to put your hand up and it will synchronize with your hand hello oh pink color no yes maybe maybe yeah There we go. I'm doing the wave. <laughs> so on the other one. Okay, well, you have some <laughs> janky, janky ass hand controls, but that's there. But I mean, it's kind of cool. You don't have to have like a special thing like a leap motion detector. Um, although I do have one. This is something like if you want to kind of try it and then see what works best for you. If that's not something that you don't really like, you can always try to do the dragging of the hands. Can I get her to put her arm back down? Wow, you can we're really dance in here. We're dancing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, hand speed, woo, woo, she can move extra fast. Uh, it's picking up my water bottle in the back there, as you can see over there, <laughs> I guess because of the coloring, but yeah, you can just tinker with that and see if that works for you. Um, I think I'm going to try to see how the dragging of the hands, uh, So it looks like you have to press a button in order to uh, move them. Okay, so that's something you can do. And then when you're going to be actually recording for something, you're going to have to use, well, you don't have to, but if you are using OBS Studios, you're going to go to your um, source panel. I guess I can set it up quickly for you. Trippy, I know, right? Cool, fun. So we're gonna go to here, we're gonna add in our game. We're gonna add in Wakaru. Understand, you understand? Okay, cool, great. And we're gonna find Wakaru. Specific window, Wakaru beta. Okay, so she is there. I'm just gonna oop, shrink her down. And in this viewfinder, I'm going to do this, so then you can see it like that, and then she's still here. Now you have me in the corner here, and then you're going to go to uh, filters, press that plus sign, push on the chroma key, you can name it whatever, green, screen, oops. And, uh, yeah. 
So now it's on default, like so. And then if I were to move this back out, I am still in that frame window and at the bottom. Um, I don't know how the arm situation movement here works. She's, she's a little stiff, so it seems like A is uh, my this arm and then S is this arm. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so she's gonna just stand there awkwardly, and then if you're on the uh, app itself, you can also set up hotkeys, kind of like how we use for VC face, um, and do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna close that there, so you can still see me here. I'm just gonna enlarge myself there, and yeah. So that's basically the full setup of Wakaru. I hope that made sense, and uh, let me know if you think that you would probably use this one or would you use BC Face? I think for me personally, BC Face has my heart and soul. So um, she kind of is going to keep that. I'm definitely going to be keep using VC Face. Although Wakaru has some cool features like the hand tracking without actually having to have hand tracking. I think that's a pretty cool um, feature to have. Um, although it's very very janky. Uh, and then also they do have a uh, glasses model setup so let's go over back into here like for me specifically I wear glasses so having it being able to track through my glasses is phenomenal um, and then you can just turn on this so that way when I move it's there and then we have our avatar moving in oops um, in uh, the software so that's pretty much I pressed the wrong button. So that's pretty much it. That's how you use Wakaru. Uh, I'm sorry for my stiff, scary looking arms. <laughs> and I hope that has helped you. And in next week, we might try on a different one. Or I might try out this software with like, um, like a game or something. Just to really run at home how the software actually functions. Um, because it is a Steam app. Um, you can't really play another game while you're using Steam. So if this isn't running, I can't go to another thing and let's say play Golf It and record that. So I would say the best feature for this app is for if you want to do it for gaming purposes, is to play like uh, .itch.io games. Um, kind of like what I did with the... What was that? V Magic Mirror where I tried that typing game. So something like that would probably be a game if you wanted to do like gaming wise for VTubing and play a game that is on the web browser or a game that you have downloaded that is not in Steam. You could also play any game that is within like Epic Games. Epic Games you can still play any of those things but anything that is linked to uh, Unity that you have downloaded there you can't really play there. So that's the only downfall of this app but overall this app is quite wonderful to use and we shall see you in the next one testing out a another software. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this software. Would you use it? Um, do you use it already? Is there any features that I should know about or the rest of the viewers should know about and probably try out for themselves? Um, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!